it's been a rocky stretch for Dylan Cease as of late. One reason for his struggles, the effectiveness of his slider. In his first eight starts of the season, the opponent batting average against that slider was 119. In his last seven starts, the opponent batting average has been 288. How he does against Brewer hitters with that slider, that's a big key for Dylan Cease tonight. Off pitch, and that's in there for strike three against Terang. Nice way to start the night for Dylan Cease. So one down here in the first inning. William Contreras standing in on the right side. Swing and a foul tip. Held on to for strike three. Back-to-back -back K's to start the night for Dylan Cease. There's a ground ball right side. Cronenworth slides to his left and fires to first. Nice first inning for Dylan Cease. So one, two, three. First Padres are coming up. Honestly, everybody needs a guy like Colin Ray. It's since he got with the Brewers last year, April 2023, 40 games, 34 starts, 12 wins, and a four ERA. This guy is the epitome of consistency. And if you go for just his last five ball games, 3 0 with a 1 9, and batter's only hitting 190 against him. Here's Fernando Tatis Jr. Four hits last night, including a homer and ground ball to second base. Terang has it with a dive, gets up, throws to first in time. Tatis hit it on a line. Terang angling back towards shallow right field, able to make a dive and take a base hit away from Tatis. Jerickson Profar, all three of these players at the top of the San Diego batting order. Have a chance to be all-stars this year. And Profar, defensive swing. Adamas cuts over, spins and throws, not in time. See if the Brewers want to challenge, and they are going to use their challenge in the first inning. Adamas able to get that baseball right near the second base bag, spun around and fired to first base. First base umpire Mike Malinsky said safe. The call of the field is overturned. Runners out. Milwaukee retains their challenge. All right, well done. Got a challenge in early. And got the call to go their way. Adamas with a beautiful play. He and Terang turning in gems in the first inning. Top of the second inning, Willie Adamas will lead off for the Brewers against Dylan Cease. Swings and misses. Strike three. Good slider from Cease. And already three strikeouts for the Padre right-hander. One down in the top of the second. This one is a bunt. And a beautiful bunt. All the way down to Manny Machado. Can do nothing with it. A bunt base hit for Sal Freeland. Here's Reese Hoskins, the former Philly. Yes, it was. Swing and a miss. And Cease with strikeout number four. That one was on the slider. Two down here in the second inning. A 1 2. On the ground to first. Arrives. He's got it. He'll tag the bag. Inning over. Inning and a half done from San Diego without a score. It is Jake Cronenworth, last night's walk off hero. It's a line drive base hit into right field for Jake Cronenworth. Last night's hero leads it off with a single. The 0 1 here to Manny. He is grounded into left center field, a base hit. First to third goes Cronenworth, and the Padres have runners at the corners with nobody out in the second inning. Oh, look now, all of a sudden, Manny Machado starting to heat up with the bat as well. On the corners with nobody out here in the second inning for Jackson Merrill. And a grounder off of Ray. Touching second, firing the first, not in time, run scores. Cronenworth in from third, puts the Padres on top, one to nothing. Lead man aboard, and now the number nine hitter, young Jackson Churio, coming up. And that is strike three. Ooh, may have gotten a call there on that slider. Yep, I would say so. And if Dylan Cease is going to get that call all game, it's a wrap. Top of the order, Terang, left-handed batter, takes in the dirt, kicks away from Higashioka, and Ortiz will advance to second base. Ball didn't get far, but Igashioka couldn't find it. And a ground ball to first base. Tough hop, but it's picked by a rise. Sees covers and gets the foot down for the out. Quickly spins and finds the location of Ortiz, who is at third base now. And out number two. Ortiz advances to third base. And William Contreras coming up. And that's strike three. Got him on the slider looking. Six strikeouts for Dylan Cease. Contreras with questions. Down by way of the K for the second time tonight. one nothing Padres. He's got to try to hang in there against Dylan Cease. Adamas, a strikeout victim in the second. Shoots out in right field. That is slicing. Long run. Tatis, he's limping, and he can't get there. Had a little hit to the giddy-up. And Adamas is going to be in the second base with a ground rule double. Tatis is one of the great outfielders in the game. He won the Platinum Glove a year ago. But you could tell he had... 
Something wrong with his gate right there. Odomas at second base with one away. Sal Freelich mm. swing and a miss, and he strikes out Freelich. Seventh strikeout of the night for Dylan Cease. Two down. Absolutely perfect little slider in inside half. Thomas at second base with two away. Tyler Glass now the only pitcher in the National League with more strikeouts than Dylan Cease. He has added seven to his total tonight, looking for more. The 2 2 to Hoskins, swung on and missed strike three. Another sword, another K, and the end of the inning. No runs ahead. Adamas left at second base after three and a half. Padres one, Brewers nothing. Eight pitch walk, and then a steal on the very next pitch, and puts himself in scoring position. Brewers just two for 11 last night with RISP. Swing and a miss, and strikeout number nine for Dylan Cease. Joey Ortiz down by way of the K. That brings up Jackson Churio and Churio on the ground. Gloved by Kim got a long throw not in time and now black on his way to third Brewers have speed to burn on the base pass Churio legs it out for an infield hit. Tyler black with a terrific base running decision there if he goes on contact Kim's going to have an easy out at third base. Brewers have Elevated the pitch count. They've had some traffic up until now. I've only managed the one base runner in each of the last three innings, but now they've got two on at the corners with Terang at the plate. Little cue shot coming to the plate. Black throw to the plate, and Black is out. It was a close play. The throw is a little high. Black went in head first. Pat Murphy is going to challenge this call. After review, the call in the field is overturned. Runner safe. The bang bang play Tyler Black scores the tying run and now the Brewers with runners at first and second and it's William Contreras let's we'll see if that delay affects Cease at all bouncing ball right side through base hit Turio around third he will score throw comes to third base Terang is in and the Brewers take the lead on a base hit by Contreras but apparently Mike Schilt wants to stick with Dylan Cease at 98 pitches rather than go to his left hander the bullpen has been taxed and you can understand why Mike Schilt wants to roll the starter ground ball towards the middle base hit to rank scores Contreras trying to go from first to third he will Yelich will take second on the throw terrific base running for the Brewers they lead it three to one and that will be the night. 106 pitches tonight for the Padres starter Dylan Cease and that is the night as he will head off the Brewers have got three so far on top three one bases loaded two outs ninth batter of the inning for Milwaukee here he comes and Hoskins pulls one Machado makes the play throw to first up the line Contreras will score Hoskins with an RBI single an infield hit. And it's four to one Milwaukee at first base with two outs in the inning Luis arise coming up now as the order flips over line down the right field line towards the pole and it is gone two run shot for Luis arise Padres back within a run one away and that'll bring up Jake Cronenworth Ooh. in the air to deep right field oh it's back it is gone into a sea of San Diegans and the crown zone to tie the game four to four Jake does it again Padres have Manny at second and two down in a four four game sixth inning to center field falling fast falling in for a base hit here comes Manny and the Padres are back in front it's five to four recognized he had to hurry that throw I don't think he was going to get free look anyway ground ball you're thinking it's going to be a double play the next thing you know inning still live and a run across so the bases are loaded. There's one out. Donovan Solano, who had an RBI single last inning, is coming up. Inside gets away. Ball four. And from third comes Cronenworth to give the Padres a two run lead, seven to five. On the ground towards second base. Duran gets eaten up. Run will score. Maybe another. Nope. I'm going to stop him. Throw to third. And back safely there is Merrill. Tough play for Terrain. This has got to go down as an error, I would think. Infield in, kind of gets the in between hop, and it eats him up. Manny Machado has had a three hit night. As a fly ball shallow left center, it is falling and it's going to fall. Around from second to score is Cronenworth. 
On hit number four of the night for Manny Machado, it's 9-5 San Diego. Route number two of the ninth inning. Swing and a miss, he struck him out, and the Padres win. Daniel De Los Santos finishes off the Brewers, and the Padres victorious 9-5, banging out 15 hits in this game.